What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in this video, we're going to talk about how we can fix the images fading out when you double click into a group in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is something we actually discussed in one of the live calls in my course. Um, and basically what the issue is, is a lot of the time what you want to do is you want to bring in an image to SketchUp and you want to model on top of it. Right? So in this situation, we would bring this image in and notice how it's an image file right here. Well, we need to scale it. And so a lot of the time, what we want to do is we want to scale this without affecting anything else in our model. Well, because this is an image object, I can't actually double click in here in order to do that. So what I've always had to do is right click and just explode the image and then group the image like this. Now I can double click in here and just resize this one object. So we would use the tape measure tool like this. So I'm just going to take this tape measure tool. I'm going to tap control so that I'm not in create guide mode. And I'm just going to pick this point right here, move my mouse, pick this point right here. And then I'm going to type in a value of 45 foot 10.5 inches and hit the enter key. What that's going to do is that's going to ask me if I want to resize the active group or component. And I'm going to say yes. And so what that does is that takes your image file and it resizes it like this. And so that's great in the sense that now we can start modeling on top of it. And we usually do, right? We're going to set our corner point right here. And so we've got our base shape figured out. I'm going to offset this in by whatever the thickness of my wall is. So in this case, just for simplicity, we're going to say six inches. Doesn't really matter for this exercise, but then we're going to push pull this up. Well, now if I double click in here and I make this a group, I've isolated my walls or my exterior walls into their own group. But we have a problem in the sense that if I double click into this group, right here, what SketchUp does is it fades out all of the other groups in here and you can't see your image anymore. So if I wanted to come in here and work on my doors or whatever, it's not going to let me do that because this object is group geometry and this object is group geometry. Now, this is an interesting thing that SketchUp does. And so if this was just an object that we imported, so if I did a file import and I imported this as an image, Notice how if I double click into the wall, that floor plan doesn't fade. So for whatever reason, SketchUp fades groups in your model that have textures applied to them, but it doesn't fade image files. And so the problem is this is now a group. So it's four edges and a face, meaning that um, I can't take this back to an image object. This is always going to be a group object. But if I re-import another copy of this image, right? So if I do a file import, re-import this image. I can just place this on the corner and then move it across here. Well, that image is now going to be the same size. Then I can get rid of the group that I brought in. And so probably the easiest way to do that is to find it in the outliner, but I can take that group. I can get rid of it. So I'm just going to erase this object right here. Well, now I have an image file in here instead of a grouped set of geometry with the texture applied to it. Well, now if I double click into this object, notice how I can see the image in the background and it's already in there to scale because we match the exact same size as the object that we scaled up. So now I have a scale image that is not going to fade out when I'm editing inside of my group in SketchUp, which can be a massive time saver. All right. So that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this helpful to you? If you struggled with this issue, I just love having that conversation with you. If you want to get involved in some of the conversations that we're having in the course, I will link to that on this page. That is a great place to learn SketchUp and get your questions answered if you're stuck on anything. So check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.